That's me who did uh, that painting. Yeah. Sylvette Picasso style. Yeah. Sylvette was 19 years old when she first met Pablo Picasso. She went on to inspire 50 of his works and is his only surviving muse. Today, she goes by the name of Lydia Corbett. He was quite a spiritual man, really, because when we sat in the studio, it was like being in another world of quiet and peace. In London, a rare exhibition of portraits of the artist's friends, lovers and family is about to open. Many of the paintings have never been seen here before. And for his granddaughter, it's a timely show of Picasso's love of life and his passion for peace. In the exhibition, you see, uh, you see different uh, moments of his life, including uh, the great portraits of my grandmother. This was an opportunity for him to have um, someone represented peace. And he, in fact, he uses that figure in Guernica on many occasions. And it's really striking to see how important peace was for someone like him. Picasso only began to use his art for political expression after the bombing of the Basque country town of Guernica in the Second World War. That event inspired one of the most powerful anti-war paintings in history. Conflict became one of the central themes of Picasso's work as he chronicled the struggles of the early part of the 20th century. Today, as his work goes on display here, his message of peace is just as fitting as it was then. represent women in politics.